Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. In this video, we will see what are events in Key Clock and how we can configure them. So, this will be a hands on video. So, let us get started. So, now I am at the login screen of the Key Clock. So, let us log in here. So, this is the realm settings page, which is the default landing page. So, if you go to events page here on the left hand side, just click it. So, here we can see we have the login events, we have the admin events and a config tab. Okay. So, here you can see that uh, we can list down the number of events 5, 10, 50, 100 and also there is option to filter as well. Right? What are the event types I am looking for? So, let us start with configuring the events here. So, by default all the events uh, are the listened by JBoss login. Okay. So, first we will start with the login event settings. So, to enable them we just need to click on yes. Okay. Now, you can see the save types are these sent reset password, remove TOTP, client login and there are n number of settings are there. Okay. So, here the admin can decide what all events uh, he want to capture. For example, I am just want to capture the login event, then I can remove others and add the login event. Okay. So, let us uh, and also here we can mention the expiration as well. For example, I want to have this uh, expiry as 2 days or I can increase to 3 days, 4 days, 5 days and it can be in minutes, hours or days. Okay. So, let us suppose we are uh, setting the expiry for 5 days. And once we are done, we will click on save here. Okay. And now if I come to login events, so right now we are not able to see anything, but let us see. We will just sign out and we will sign it again. Yeah. So you can see under the login events, it has a start capturing the events. So first thing was happened was the logout. Okay. So, what was the IP address, who was the user and what was the redirect URI. Then I have logged in. So, it is a login event. So, here it is mentioning like what was the auth method used, authentication type and all those things. Okay. And next code to token. So, this URL must have given the code okay, because you can see this auth type is code and using this code we have captured the token for the to uh, login mechanism. So, you can see token ID here okay. and uh, then scopes open ID profile email it is reading. Okay. Now, let us go to config tab again here we will enable the save events and also you can see these red buttons. So, these are for clearing the events for example, if you want to clear you can just click on clear events for example, I have cleared event. Now, the event has been cleared. If I go to login events, I won't be able to see any events. Okay. So, let us move again admin events. I am enabling it and I am just clicking on save. Once you do this, you can go to admin events. You can see that it has already started capturing because uh, as a admin, I have triggered the events which is related to configuration of the events. Okay. So, you can see, you can see the representation as well. Then we can see the auth as well. So, who is the client, what, who is the user and the IP address. So, here we come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please share it with your friends. Please subscribe the channel to get latest videos. Keep exploring. Thanks.